Welcome back to MTD CNC North America, my friends. I am at Water Saver, and we're going to talk about Robo Drill, but more specifically, the automation side of Robo Drill, because I really believe we've done a lot of these videos with methods, and we're truly learning the significance of the speed of these machines. We're learning about the rigidity that even with the BT30 taper, we can cut harder materials. The fact that they're flexible, that you can do three plus twos. There's so much to go along with the Robo Drill machine, including the footprint because we're all fighting for real estate. However, with my friend Michael today, we're gonna to talk more about the automation side of things along with the relationship of methods and bringing it and implementing it into Water Saver. So Michael, let's talk more about that and thank you again for being a part of MTD. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so we started uh, with methods about nine years ago. We purchased our first turnkey cell, um, a long bed robo drill uh, with a fourth axis uh, and FANUC robot automation. Um, with the addition of the fourth axis, we're able to cut uh, three-sided parts, which are what our uh, bread and butter is as a valve manufacturer. Um, we started with them on a turnkey cell for about four different products. Um, we had really good success with that. Uh, we expanded, we purchased another cell from them two years later, uh, running a similar family of parts. Um, and we continued to grow. Uh, we bought a few other robo drills in the course of the preceding years uh, without automation for various other operations that we were doing. Um, and then about four years ago, uh, Methods had been a great support for us and they taught us a lot and we thought we could uh, go out and try it on our own. Um, so we purchased uh, five identical RoboDrill short bed machines uh, with the fourth axis. Um, and then we did our own integration with uh, Universal Collaborative Robots, uh, doing all of our own integration uh, design work. Um, but every step of the way, Methods was there to help us and support us with whatever we needed. I like that you say that, and I like that we're recording this interview right now with my buddy Michael because something to me really stuck out. And everyone who watches knows we don't script these things. These things are authentic. We are actually having this conversation right here, right now. Something that stuck out to me, my friend, is you brought on a lot of robo drills. Yep. Methods help you create the original cell, but you also mentioned you are and doing it kind of your own way as well. Once you learned how to do it, sure. and Methods supported you throughout all of it from the beginning to the transition and even until this moment, which I think is one of those kudo moments to a company like Methods to make sure you're always taken care of. Absolutely, yeah. Um, when we when we first purchased the Robo Drills and told them they were going to use Universals, uh, you know, they were a little bit disappointed, um, but they were more than happy to help us get the machines up and running. Uh, their apps guys helped us with the integration uh, with the Universal Robot, with the PMC program, um, and any other issues that we had, uh, always there to support us, no matter what we were doing. Well, Michael, to be fair, you did in that story as well say we invested in this amount of Robo Drills, and yes. then some more robo drills and then some more robo drills so i would imagine they also know this is going to happen in the future as well and they'd yes. love to see you use their fanic cobots but they're going to help you no matter what and they know that more work is coming as you guys continue to grow i mean this is a 70 year old company and you've been here for a while as well you've already seen this growth absolutely yeah every every time zach comes in he he points out that there's room for two more of these identical cells on the other side of this machine <laughs> um so he's just he's just waiting for the right time i bet he is he's a clever guy well now that we've gone over the process of you know adapting to robo drill learning about automation then transitioning into your own i'd like to convey to the audience out there because there are still some folks that are a little bit nervous about implementing the overall process of automation sure. would you mind sharing your personal story with either the difficulty or the ease of what it was and, and how methods helped you get through it and how today, how comfortable your team feels with automation. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the biggest thing, you know, is talking about starting off with a turnkey, turnkey machine uh, automation cell. Uh, we literally did nothing. Uh, methods designed all of the work holding, all of the tooling, all of the robot programming. Uh, every aspect was done for us um, start to finish. Uh, we went out to Sudbury, uh, saw the machine working on their floor before it was shipped to Chicago. Uh, they were here with us getting it up and running uh, in Chicago. Um, and then as we learned more and grew uh, in our knowledge of both robo drills and automation, you know, they were always there to support us um, as we leaned on them less uh, for the automation side, always still there to help us with the robo drills. Um, and then again, you know, as uh, we had issues with the robots even purchased from an outside vendor, um, still there to help us with any integration we needed. Uh, still there to help us uh, support with fixturing, uh, tooling, any other questions that we had. Well, Michael, talking about all of this automation, all this implementation, all this growth within these cells, 
How did it actually used to be done? Uh, so when I started at Water Saver eight years ago, uh, the entire department over here was full of uh, cam-driven specialty built machines uh, for uh, valve and faucet manufacturing. Um, those machines were all hand loaded, uh, one piece at a time, uh, very slow, uh, very limited tooling. Uh, and what we did with the robo drills, uh, with the addition of the fourth axis, we're able to machine uh, not only the three sides of valves, but also additional uh, angled waterways, uh, specialty features that we weren't able to complete uh, on the old style machines and bring apart from start to finish off uh, in, in one work holding. Guys, Michael is making my job way too easy today, so I do appreciate you for that. So now we know and understand what the team of methods does to service and support for a company like Water Saver and Michael. It's a great story here. We already knew the speed, the rigidity, the flexibility, the footprint, all the amazing things that come with the Fanuc Robo Drill. But it's always great to hear these kinds of stories that are about the implementation of automation, the support that comes from the companies that you work with. So thank you so much for sharing that, Michael. You are amazing and we do appreciate you. Thank you.